brand new future starts tomorrow for a historic building in a historic neighborhood. And it all came true because of the dream and vision of Kansas City legend Buck O'Neill. This is more than just a set of buildings. It's hard to contain the excitement. History was made here. The year was 1920. February 13, 1920, Andrew Rube Foster led a contingent of eight independent black baseball team owners into Kansas City. They met here at then the old Paseo YMCA. Out of that meeting came the birth of the Negro National League. Years later, the Paseo YMCA was a hub for black kids from all over Kansas City, like the two Barbaras who grew up nearby and still live in the area. These are my old stomping grounds ever since I was a child. That was a place to be then, yeah. In the 1970s, the building was shuttered and started declining. But Buck O'Neill, the legendary manager of the Kansas City Monarchs, had a vision. Now what is this going to be? Now it's the Buck O'Neill Education and Research Center, a fabulous extension of the Negro Leagues Baseball Museum, Buck's dream. The old Paseo YMCA has gone from this. It was crazy. I mean, you know, this thing was just, it was a mess. To this. It looks beautiful on the outside, all the windows repaired and everything. And I, lo I love the paintings on the side of the building. You know, it's, uh, it's night and day. Kansas City Councilman Jermaine Reed and Quentin Lucas helped allocate one million dollars for the project. Then some help from a friend. Mr. Gates seems like a little bit of a fire starter in this process. <laughs> he is. You know, he, he, number one, he's an extremely successful businessman. And because of that, he's garnered a lot of respect. Ollie Gates, owner and operator of Gates Barbecue, joined the board of the Negro Leagues Baseball Museum after Buck died for one reason, to get this center done. A lot of heart and a lot of volunteer work from a lot of folk. That's what it took. How exciting is this for you to be here? Well, I think the excitement has worn off for me after seven years of hard labor. <laughs> it goes to show what happens when you have someone championing your cause. And he became the champion of this cause. Buck was his friend. And he just simply refused to let Buck's dream die. I don't want it to die, you know. I just want it to be revitalized and for people to come. It's going to make a world of difference. These men and this community hope what was once a symbol of days long past becomes a foundation for the future. But more importantly, an important piece of history uh, for the entire city. It's like going full circle, you know, to go right back to the very building that gave birth to the story that you're now charged with preserving. How cool is that? So far, so good. There, there are three more floors. <laughs> <laughs> There's still some work to do. The second, third, and fourth floors still need to be finished. The center is going to be used for kids' educational programming and events. A hard hat sneak preview is planned for tomorrow evening.